Dean, uh, Luke, Quinn City Soccer Show. Um, so I'll start off with uh, uh, what we heard yesterday when the rumors were breaking about Enzo was that he may be out for four weeks and that he was also maybe suffering mentally and the team was considering bringing in uh, a specialist to help with his mentality. Are there any truth to those rumors? No. Okay. <laughs> but there's, that's quite an easy answer. Yeah, there's an easy one. Um, so uh, with Nashville coming up, it's the first game this season that is part of a fan-developed um, contest called the Southern Championship Belt. Are you familiar with this this competition? I am now, so go on. Fantastic. <laughs> so uh, Nashville, I believe, has won two of them so far. Charlotte, Atlanta, Nashville, uh, I want to say Orlando and D.C. as well. Uh, so the top head-to-head team gets this fan-made Southern Championship Belt. Uh, now that it's on your radar, uh, is that sort of a competition something that uh, would interest or excite you, or are you just going to stick to the uh, games on the pitch here? No, it interests and it excites me because it's to do with our fans who have been brilliant since I've been here. And, you know, uh, we're here to, you know, both excite and make our fans proud of us. Um, you know, so uh, if it's to do with them, we'll, we'll do our best to win it. Fantastic. I love to hear that. Um, the fan base has had some criticism for Brecht so far this season um, in the central kind of attacking role. What have you seen from him, and what do you want to see from him moving forward? Well, what I have seen from him is an unbelievable ability to be in good positions when we haven't got the ball. Uh, wins the ball back really well. Wins free kicks in high areas of the pitch. Um, you know, what we probably need a little bit more from him is a little bit more creativity in, in the final third. You know, I've spoke to him sometimes about putting the ball, leaving the ball there, and, you know, it's down to other players then to get on the end of it. Um, you know, and uh, yeah, he, he partly agrees. And whenever you talk to footballers about this, it becomes the chicken and the egg. Uh, you know, I can only put the ball if the runs are made, but, you know, you wait for the run or is it the ball? Just put the ball there, and if they don't get there, I'll deal with it. <laughs> That's great. Uh, last question. So, obviously, going to Nashville this weekend, Music City. What are you going to do to keep Scotty Arfield out of the honky tonks? I know he probably wants to play some guitar. <laughs> what are you going to do to get me out? Of the <laughs> no, uh, yeah, we're looking forward to the visit, but um, Scotty will just be strumming in his, in his hotel room. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, uh, Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so you have uh, more of a reputation on the offensive side of the ball, but so far through three games, a lot of the talk has been about the defense and even opposing coaches saying that they know coming into the game they're going to have trouble getting the ball into the box and creating good opportunities. Is that the sort of reputation you want this team to have this year? And if not, what would you be wanting other teams to think? I think you have to build foundations first to, to allow yourself to be an offensive team. Um, and I think... That's what we've done, that's all we've done so far with the players. Give them the foundations of where we want teams to play against us when they have the ball. Um, but then, you know, what are we good at when we win the ball back? Um, I think we've we've created some really good counter-attacking opportunities. We've probably not delivered as bet as, as well as we could on them opportunities. Um, you know, when the t- when the opposition have got behind the ball, I think we we've been patient and, and drawn them out at times. And our set pieces have got better, so you know there's lots of improvements to be done. But I, I've been, been you know, quietly pleased with what we've done so far in a short amount of time. Um, so there is an MLS rule that allows for the reserve team, the Crown Legacy players, to come up for a limited number of games throughout the season. Are there any Crown Legacy players that are on your radar to possibly call up? Um, I will probably tell you on Monday after I've watched them on Sunday. There we go. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking forward to watching their first game and. Uh, already wished uh, Jose and the team well.